Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm with Prof Harvey and we are talking about how to be a sexual health educator and her experience. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I am, by training, a sexologist. Um, I started my career as a sexual health educator, and so when I was in college, I wanted to make sure everyone used condoms and were safe, uh, and I was working in HIV an awful lot, and wanted to really kind of expand my understanding of the human the human being and sexuality, as it, those are really addictive experiences. To be human and to be sexual is a major element. Um, so I went to grad school and got a master's degree in education and sexuality education, and then uh, kept moving forward towards my PhD. So I'm completing that right now. I'm excited, ready to get it done. But um, but it's been a it's been a long journey. I don't know what will be on the other side of it, but there's a lot of um, engagement with people. There's a lot of questions. People have a lot of concerns. People want to know if they're okay, if they're normal, is something wrong with them. There are many of those elements. So for me, I always wanted to teach. I think of myself as an educator. So coming into the classroom was the most natural thing for me to do and to get up in front of people and kind of talk through experiences. But it's a, it's a challenge as well. You carry it. There's a lot of energy around sex and sexuality. So I have to be very careful not to put myself in places that could cause me harm because of the energy that people carry around sex and sexuality and religion and a trauma and the like. But you know, so far it's been, uh, it's taught me an awful lot and I hope I've been able to give the field a lot of things as well. So. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Are you first year or second year? I am, I am fifth year, so I am, I am almost done. I'm writing dissertation right now uh, and will be graduating in May of 2018. So wow. it's going to be a good time. It's soon, it's soon come, soon come. So what is your, um, are you able to share with us what your dissertation is about? Well, yeah, sure. My dissertation is actually looking at um, African-American women's experiences, young adolescent mothers, their experiences with birth control, um, specifically a birth control that we refer to as LARC, long-acting reversible contraception. Um, so I'm looking at some young girls who used uh, Norplant in the early 1990s in Baltimore, Maryland. So um, we're going to do, I'm going to do some interviews with them, see how that process was, what they took from that, what they learned from that, what they pass on to their children from that, because birth control ends up being, um, we think that birth control is a really light conversation, but birth control actually is a lot of emotions involved. So it's not something to just address lightly. So we'll see, we'll see how it all goes. Awesome. Okay. Do you have any advice for anyone who may want to be a sexual health educator, whether it's a professor, mm -hmm. clinical sexologist? Mm -hmm. um, I do. I would offer for anybody who's looking to, to work in the field of sexuality to really interrogate why you want to do this work. Um, this is not a, a field that you come to save people in. That's, it, it, you will burn out that way. It's not a field that you can change overnight either. You've got to be willing to stay with it for some time. Um, but you also have to know yourself and know all that you bring as a sexual being to that with what you're learning, what you're teaching, what you're trying, what you're experiencing, what you have experienced, because all of that colors the way that you understand sexuality, and then therefore it'll influence the way that you understand what you're receiving in terms of sexuality. So I think it's the same way we think about relationships. Be honest with your partner, be honest with yourself. And if you're honest with yourself, maybe sexuality is the field for you to go into, or maybe it's writing or something like that. So those would be, that would be my, my advice. And you're also doing social work along with... Um, a little, yeah. yeah. So. It's kind of a feel that you can't really talk to people about their sexuality without talking about them as people. And I think that's really what social workers are, are really good, really good ones are, are good at doing is talking to the human being about their humanity. And that's really what sexuality allows you to do is, it should allow you to see the humanity in us all and understand that we're all trying to figure something out. That's great. You know. Yeah. So, would you like to like continue to do research, or? Do I think so. I mean, I'm 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 open to um, certain places, but I'm also like, hey, maybe I will write a book. 
<laughs> Maybe I'll write a book. So um, one, what I've learned about this process and what I've learned about being in school is you can make all the plans you want and those are great, but sometimes you get moved into places where you need to be. So if I get moved into a place where I need to be, I'll be there. I'll awesome. be there. Yeah. Would you um, want to... Uh, maybe try being like a sex therapist? Or? You know, I considered it, but I, th I enjoy um, large groups of people. And I think, not that I can't talk one-on-one -on -one like we're doing, um, and the millions of people watching, but, but I think that those individuals who work with therapy have a real understanding about working one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm kind of a big group kind of girl. So I could consider it. I don't want to go back to school for it. So, <laughs> so that changes a little bit of the conversation. But I think those individuals who work in therapy um, are phenomenal. I think they really do a lot to help people get from when they first come in and are like, oh my God, what's happening in my life, to being really fully functioning individuals. And so, so there's a need for all of us, I think. Great. If you guys have any questions for Prof Harvey, you can leave them down below and I will email her the questions so she can get back to you. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in to How to Be a Sexual, uh, sexual Health Educator. And we hope that you learned something in this video. Bye guys.